What's up guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to YouTube and welcome back to another Idiot's Guide Pumps and Hoses. I call this an Idiot's Guide because I'm an idiot, not you. Just want to point that one out. Um, so if an idiot can can do this, anyone can. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. But we're going to have a little look at the application now of the slurry. So getting the slurry from your biogas, BGA, from your farm or whatever it is, wherever your storage is, getting it from there to your fields. Okay, so obviously you can um, instantly get yourself. Let me just get through this. It's just something I've set up here. Um, obviously, you can get yourself one of these, either that one or this one, either of these setups. You can drive to the biogas, to the BGA or whatever it is, and load these up and leave these on the side of the field. And then you can run a hose directly from either of these straight into, um, into your uh, tractor with your spreader on the back of it. So that's probably the simplest way to go about that. Now, this one here, because it already has the pump and everything is already attached to that, this will pump 700 meters. No more than 700 meters. Okay, so this one will pump... I think it's 1,300 meters, I think. Let's just quickly pop into the shop just to double check those. This one, uh, 1,500, my apologies, and this one is 700, okay? So keep an eye on these figures down here, okay? Because you've got them on here. If you want to go from a, a pump, which we'll talk about, um, if you want to pump it straight from storage, you've got these as well, okay? But these also have a capacity of how far they can pump. So this one is a 1,000 metres, and this one is 300 metres. So please keep an eye on those to, um, so, you don't get, uh, you don't, so you don't get caught out. Um, and the reels as well, obviously, this will hold... Uh, 1,300 meters. This one will hold 1,700 meters. This one will, will hold 400. But if we get back into here so I can pretty much show you what we're doing. Okay, we've got some hose out here. One single length of hose at 500 meters. So we are going to grab the end of this with our tool. The tool you can pick up in the uh, trailers section under miscellaneous you can grab that we're going to hop into our John Deere this on the front we'll get to in a moment let me just put my tool away sorry um, now when you hop into your tractor if you highlight the implement at the back it will come up left shift Q to attach umbilical hose so we go left shift and Q everything attaches from the right hand side of the trailer so it with this one and with the one we've got behind as well it attaches this way if you park the trailer around the other way even though it's got connections here why can't i jump can i get through it won't it'll only connect to this one here Okay, so this is the only one. This is the only outlet. Um, I'm presuming that this one is going to be for an input because it goes actually into the tank there. Hopefully that's going to be coming like we had the hose mod in 19. Really, really hope that that's going to be something that's going to be coming into, um, into FS22. So we've got that now connected up to that. We'll leave it off. Because what we now need to do is get ourselves a tractor that's got all of the implements on so we can get it right round and drive it over 
get it over to the end of that pose. So we're over here now. We're into the Vultra. Or we're going to get into the Vultra. This one has a, uh, a applicator on the back. And it also has the attacher, which attaches the hoses to the applicator. So we're going to drive this down. We're going to find the end of that orange hose. And we're going to stick some slurry into the ground. Ignore the yellow hose. We will get to that shortly. So let's now quickly connect this to... Um, I'm going to go there. Connect you gonna go to this one I'm gonna lower everything down like that now it says here the pump is not running which is the pump over on the John Deere so we hop into the John Deere we start the engine and it says there we highlight the back trailer and it says turn on compressor turn on the compressor now that we hop out obviously you have to have the um, automatic engine um, enabled we hop out that is now pumping beautiful brown liquid all the way through that pipe so if we now get back into our tractor I can find it it's one of them hello this one now that is lowered down we can not get out of it we've moved forward we are now putting slurry down. You can't see it very well. But we are putting slurry down onto the field. We hop out now of here. You can see here, bottom right hand corner, fertilization says absolutely zero. If we go behind the tractor where we've been, we are at 50% fertilized. So that is working beautifully so this is running from that tank which we um, when we checked in the shop hold uh, will pump 700 meters okay if you wanted to do more than 700 meters we just raise that up like that if you wanted to do more than 700 what you could do is oh don't do that. Stop it. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Okay, that's better. What you could do, if you wanted more than 700 meters, you can grab another hose. Let me just show you quickly. We come over here and turn this off. So let's, for argument's sake, you, do, you want more than 700 meters, okay? So this tank here will be absolutely no good for what you are going to need you will be requiring this tank here okay so what you would need to do is we need some more homes if we just grab this I'm just going to try and do this as uh, kind of easy as possible if I can so we want to grab that put that down there as i said it's not that glitchy when you pull them out which is in my eyes a brilliant feature we're going to hop in this massey ferguson though because we've got another 500 meters of hose on here so we're going to run over to the other side of that hose okay i'm not going to lay it out in the field um perfectly because I'm just doing this um, just to kind of show you guys and girls quickly how this would um, how this would work. So if we come over here, for instance, okay, and we lay down a pipe from here. So we highlight the front of the tractor, and it tells us um, Z to change to unwinding. So we unwind. Then it says Y to start unwinding. And that will drop that hose down there so we now reverse this up we've got 500 meters on here so what i want to do is we're going to reverse this all the way up here about 250 meters turn it around come back and we're going to connect those hoses 
up together. Right, so there we go. We're now coming to the end of this. That's going to drop down beautifully just there. Now, if we just leave this over here. So we've now got, in the field here now, we've got a thousand meters of hose. Okay. So if we now bring our tool up, we pull you over to here, drop you on the floor near to there. And if we look at this, attach umbilical hose. Boom. Done. Left click. The hoses are attached. And we are rolling a thousand meters right now. We now need to pick this up. We're going to pop you down to there. Let's hop into here. We'll start her up. We'll go left shift Q to attach said hose. Activate the pump. Beautiful. Now if we get back into our tractor. Oh, that one. That one. Start her up. We should now be able to drop you down hopefully it will go blue it does and we can keep pumping out some slurry onto the field so we are now rolling a thousand meters of hose okay so that's how you do that if you want it to go um, if you need to ro roll over a further distance. Okay, so that's that's the part from running from a field tanker um, into the field. Okay, so that's got you covered with that. Now let's move over and, and try and uh, let me show you how you get it straight from your tanks um, to the field if you want to do it that way as well. Right, so if you want to take it straight out of your um, your store... What you're going to need is you are going to require a pump to take it from there um, and uh, put it into whatever applicator you're going to be using. Okay, so for instance, out there in the field at the minute, we've got 300 meters of hose. Okay, so let's, for instance, say this one, because this one does, double check in the shop again, this one pumps exactly. 300 meters so let's move you over what we have to do you what i'd like for them to bring into the game would be static pumps that you can put down turn on that uses um fuel you can fill up with fuel so you don't have to leave your tractor running all the time for this to for this to happen that's what I'd like. Um, what we need to do here now, we're going to hop out. We're going to grab our end of the hose here. If I can. Beautiful. Let's put you down there a bit. Uh, lovely. So that is now... We're going to hop into here. We're going to left shift Q. Now that is all attached, ready and running. Okay. Now what you do have to do here you have to lower otherwise i found if you don't lower it it will keep popping the hose off whether that was because of the way i'd laid the hoses out or what i don't know but that's that's what i found anyway so we've now got that all up ready going what we need to do now is work out how to applicate it onto the field. So we're going to run over here and get into this. What we're going to do, I'm going to just use the standard um, field. Okay, but this one here is running the cultivator. Uh, can I... you raised? Oh, crap, that's the wrong button. Stop! Thank you. Let's run this over to the end of the... Uh, at the end of this hose so basically what's happening is the store is obviously storing the uh, digestate we've got 52,000 litres in there um, the 
pump is recognizing that as a place to take the slurry from so it's acting the same as it would do a trailer when you come up and you have to um, start overloading so you can refill your trailer you just pull your trailer up there it's exactly the same but it'll fill the trailer where it's kind of filling the pump at the moment so we are going to go down to the end of this hose here i want to do that i want to do that get all of this opened so we can get this all connected up like that left shift q that is all up and running did i activate the pump on the new holland easy way to find out let's lower you and let's get out the tractor it's gone blue perfect now this will cultivate the field and also put down the slurry as well that is amazing so we come out of here again nothing here zero fertilization we go over here we should be at 50 percent and we are so there we go that is that it's pr it's brilliant truly truly is i think um obviously if you want to um if now this is a big if but if, let me just come up into the sky for this a little bit. So what you can do if you want to, you can, for instance, you can run 300 meters of hose, okay, to, let's say, that trailer there, okay? If you do that, this will pump from here all the way out through the hoses and fill that tanker on the side of the field. Now then, you could hop into, let's say, this Deutz here, park this generator next to it, and then you could run a thousand meters of hose. No, sorry, 1500. I need to check that again. This one here. You could run a thousand meters of hose from that. So it would recognize it would go from there into that tank. From that tank, which only does 700 meters, into here, which would then allow you to do a thousand meters. If you wanted to do that, you could. So there is so many that you can do so many things with this every day. Honestly, I am stop doing that every day. I'm learning more and more and I absolutely love this DLC. So guys, I hope that has um, helped with um, getting you to kind of understand a bit more about pumps and hoses. Um, the only other thing that we haven't actually done is if we get into here, I don't know if we can do this now, actually, because it's not. Is it still connected up? I think it is, actually. So if we now highlight that, it says there umbilical hose clogged by 0%. So there is no clogging of that, but we can clean the hoses. It says clean umbilical hose, press X. I need to actually... I can't turn on that compressor, actually. Oh, I don't think I've got enough power here. I don't have enough power for that to, for that to run um, on that tractor, I believe. This one, on the other hand, you would be able to, but it's nothing connected. Oh, turn on compressor. Oh, hang on. If we turn the compressor on on this one... You can see the revs start up. You get out. There's an actual 
dial here, which gives you compression. You just heard that. That's all lovely. Then what you would do is you would hit X to clean the hoses out if they if they were attached. That's that's pretty much what that is. Okay. So I hope, as I said, I hope that has been enough to get to to get you guys kind of used to the bare minimum of pumps and hoses it's a really good dlc creative mesh i have to give you a big high five and ggs for this um this dlc truly is amazing fingers crossed we see some extended hose system that can possibly um bring a bit more into this i'd love to see a hose that went from at least that went from storage into um pump or from pump to pump because you could do that as well if you wanted to so but guys anyway i'm gonna leave this one here i hope this helps you out um truly hope you guys enjoy the pumps and hoses if you haven't ordered your pumps and hoses yet head on over to giants use code gamer dragon on uh exit use my code and uh that would help out the channel little tiny bit won't cost you anything extra though so um but i'm gonna leave this one here thank you ever so much for watching if you have enjoyed please leave a like drop a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't enjoyed it leave a like drop a comment subscribe to the channel and i will catch you all in the next one